Hi lovelies, this is Cherie from Divine Visions with your pick a card for a special message reading and I'm doing it a little bit differently today. Um, I've got the Magic of Flowers cards by Tess Whitehurst um, for this particular reading and as you can see the cards are upright. So what you can do in a moment is just focus on the cards as to which illustration you like or you know the sound of the, the flower um, that you might want to pick and, and I'll read the messages out to you. I just want to quickly say too that um, I haven't put up videos in the last week. I've been really frustrated because I've wanted to. I've had so many ideas for videos but as a lot of you know from my previous video that I posted um, I did have major surgery and I'm still recovering from that um, and I am suffering from chronic fatigue at this stage. I don't know how long it'll go for but I am trying to get on top of it and um, yeah produce these videos for you guys because I really love doing them as I've stated before. So anyway let's get to it and we've got the first magic of flower card here which is honeysuckle. Okay so what you can do for each card is I'm going to show them to you and you can just decide whether you feel drawn to this card for this particular message. I've got goddess guidance cards underneath each one of those as well. So we've got the first card which is Honeysuckle. Then we've got what I think is pronounced as Narcissus. Then we've got this one which is Lily. The next one is Daisy. We've got Dandelion. And the last one is Impatience. So I'm going to start with Honeysuckle. Okay, so if you chose Honeysuckle, your message is, Significant doors of opportunity are open and the way forward is clear. Old stuck energy is dissolving away or has already dissolved and divine blessings are making their way to you quickly and in great profusion. Experiencing good luck is your natural state. Like a river or a wind pattern, your life has a natural flow. When illusions of discord or stagnation have been cleared away, this flow is open and your life feels easy, positive, invigorating and energising. There may be some challenges along the way, but you bravely face them, embrace them, and find the precious blessings and wisdom they contain. Like the radiant, vibrantly coloured hummingbird in the picture, you feel free to move swiftly and joyfully through life's many adventures, savouring the sweetness and the abundance of life. In past generations and even into the present, it has been common to assume that good luck only lasts for a season and then must inevitably pass. However, this is only the case if you choose for it to be so. In fact, we each have the power to shift this old, limiting thought form and establish a new paradigm of ever-increasing and expanding harmony, positivity, wealth, love and success. It appears that you are in the flow currently, so keep this flow going and enlarge its momentum as you breathe deeply now and inwardly affirm, I am lucky and blessed by my very nature. I allow positive conditions of all varieties to constantly increase and expand in my life and, I'll, and I simultaneously support the constantly expanding luck and blessings of my friends, family, community and planet. So a lucky windfall or big break is on the horizon. Your divinely designed success is already present and available to you so step into it now. And notice, appreciate and make the most of your blessings. They are all around you. So your Goddess Guidance card, which was amazing when I saw it come out when I was shuffling, is expect a miracle. 
So this was amazing because this is already talking about blessings and good luck coming into your life. And at this time, you're being asked to expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So, you know, leave, um, allow yourself to embrace those miracles. Open your arms wide to receive the blessings that are about to come into your life, okay? It's a really positive message for you guys. Now, if you chose Narcissus, this one says... While we sometimes attempt to cultivate the soil of our personal growth through self-criticism, we will never experience the joy we desire or blossom forth in our fullest splendor. If we do not bask, or, um, bask I should say, regularly in the nourishing light of self-love. So this is all about self-love. Like the sun rising over a beautiful landscape after a moonless night or the earliest springtime, flowers bravely... Showering, uh, sorry, showing their faces after the darkest hour of winter has passed. Now is the time to let your awareness of your own beauty and majesty dawn. With regard to your question, the answer has to do with loving yourself more. Tune into your body, mind and spirit and take the time to ask yourself things like, is there something that I can do to make myself feel more comfortable, seen, heard, recognised and loved? How can I love myself even more than I do now? How can I see myself in the most flattering and forgiving light possible? What will best support me in this situation? What do I truly desire? What thoughts, habits and actions can I let go of in order to heal and nourish myself in the best possible ways? Though it might be at first uh, seem to have nothing to do with the subject of your question, even an action as seemingly basic as getting yourself more comfortable, sleepwear, taking a warm bath, baking a batch of your favourite cookies or diffusing uh, essential oil of lavender in your space when performed with the intention of self-love can help shed light on the issue at hand and precipitate the energetic momentum you seek. So be sweet to yourself. Think and speak kindly to yourself and take steps to comfort and nourish yourself as you would a clear and beloved friend. Take a moment to tune into your mind, body and spirit and take at least one step in the physical world, such as taking a bath or lighting a scented candle to support your needs while expressing love toward yourself. Let go of harsh criticism, negative self-talk, or trying to force yourself to do things that don't feel good to you. And your Goddess Guidance card is Divine Passion. So be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? So a lot of you might be feeling a little lost at the moment. You might be um, questioning your own self-worth. And it's saying, be honest, look within. Look within at yourself, your heart, um, what your true heart's desire really is. Where, what makes you feel passionate in life? And doing something kind for yourself each day is really important at this stage as well. You might be wanting to um, create a new project or you know jump into something that makes you feel like you're growing in yourself spiritually mentally emotionally all those things so this is that special message for you guys today i hope that's helped you okay so if you've chosen lily it's, it's ask for help you are never alone in the world you are surrounded by helpful beings both seen and unseen Simply saying the word by humbly and lovingly requesting assistance sets that help in motion. Whenever this card appears, take a moment to centre yourself. Focus on the divine in any way that feels powerful for you. And from the bottom of your heart, ask silently or aloud for the help you need. Next, consider whether there is any person, animal or group in the physical world that might be able to help you with your challenge or issue in the form of advice, Empathy, companionship, comfort, monetary aid, physical assistance or any other form of support. Next, you must allow this help in an energetic way. In other words, when we ask for help but then hold on to a need to control or a belief that we have to do it all ourselves, it makes it difficult or impossible, impossible for this help to come into our life experience. This effectively blocks the natural flow of divine assistance that wants to suffuse and abundantly characterise our life experience. It would be like asking a friend to drive you home and then refusing to get out of the driver's seat. The friend is willing and able to help but is restricted from doing so because of your reluctance to receive the very assistance you requested. 
So you need to be able to open your arms really wide to embrace this beautiful um, assistance to come into your life. <clears throat> so it says, release the need to control everything and any beliefs such as if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. And affirm that help is everywhere for you now. Helpful beings in both the seen and unseen worlds abound. Everyone is always helpful and you now allow yourself to receive the help you need. And your goddess guidance card here is fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas and give birth to new conditions. So what this is really saying is that you want to be able to start something fresh in your life. There's a new path that a lot of you may want to go down, but you're just too overwhelmed or may not have all the resources or tools to get it up and going. Um, so, you know, not being too proud, you know, um, and as it said, having that self-belief that if something's going to be done, you've got to do it yourself because there are others that can help you and, and help fit the pieces into the puzzle to make this come about, okay? So that's your special message for today. I hope that's helped you. Okay, so if you chose Daisy, it says simplify. Rather than adding or doing something in order to exper uh, experience the most positive resolution or outcome in this situation, it appears that it's time to let go of something or to simply be. If the exact meaning of this is not immediately clear to you, it might help to ask yourself the following questions. Is it possible that I'm making things more complicated than they actually need to be? Is there an obligation, goal or relationship that I can let go of in order to better support my peace of mind and general well-being? Am I operating under the belief that something needs to unfold in a specific way, when in reality it might serve me better to leave the details up to the universe? Am I acting from inauthentic beliefs, beliefs that are not intrinsic to my true divine self? about how my life or this situation should look. Is it time to clear the clutter in my home or workplace? What can I let go of in order to immediately feel more harmonious in this situation? So Daisy reminds us to come back to the beauty and simplicity of the moment, relax and visualize her pure white petals and fresh innocent energy, breathe in simplicity and breathe out any feelings of being stressed or overwhelmed. Remember, in this moment you are already wealthy because you have precisely enough for your soul's ideal unfolding. You are already successful because you are exactly where your soul has chosen to be. So know that you are enough. Know that you have enough. And leave the details up to the universe. Let go of any beliefs, obligations or relationships that no longer serve you. And take a simple approach. Step out of the drama. Remember that in many cases less really is more. And so your goddess guidance card here is medicine woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. There may be something that you're not letting go of in your life that's complicating things for you. And so this is a very, um, you know, it's all about healing energy coming within. Maybe there's something that you need to let go of in order to heal from the past. There's something from your past perhaps that you need to let go of, I'm saying, that you need to heal from. Um, so... There, I feel like a lot of you will know what this is that, that you need to let go of. It may be a physical item. It might be a job. It might be a relationship. It may be that you have to, um, you know, let go of some things that you've been holding on to in your home that no longer serve you anymore. Um, friendships, you know, you'll know exactly what it is. And so it's saying simplify your life. Um, Allow yourself to let go of things that are complicating your life and, and causing this frustration and pain as well um, in your life. And it may not be that you have to, if it's an, on an emotional level, let go fully of the good memories of somebody, if it's to do with somebody. Um, it may be letting go of the negative things that occurred between the two of you and being able to um, embrace the good times and the positive energies and bring in this healing energy. For some of you, it may even be around forgiveness here as well. If there's something you're just not letting go of and holding on to that's causing your heart chakra to be blocked and not allowing this um, you know, happiness to enter into your life, it's about simplifying and getting back into this innocent energy, this light-hearted, carefree energy here as well through healing, okay? So have a, have a think about that one as to what you might need to let go of in your life. And I hope that's helped you today. Okay, so if you chose dandelion, 
This is about making a wish. So how do all children everywhere seem to know that you can make a wish come true by blowing the seeds off of dandelion? Because it's true, and children are still inherently connected to the natural world and all of the magical wisdom it contains. But even if you don't blow the seeds off of a dandelion, simply envisioning the flower in either its yellow blossom or fuzzy seed incarnation and tuning into its energy can help align you with the energy of what you desire. But first you must determine what exactly you desire. Receiving this card indicates that it is high time you first become clear on what you'd like to experience with regard to the subject of your inquiry, including any important details. Then visualise and feel the feelings associated with your desire fully as if it were already manifested in the physical world. Finally, as if you were blowing seeds to the wind, release this visualisation to the universe with complete trust and the easy expectation that your desire will blossom forth ideally and in perfect and divine timing. So the universe wants to grant your wish precisely, so be very clear about what you desire. If you knew exactly what you wanted to experience in this situation or as an outcome of this situation, what would it be? Do not give up or... You know, do not give up on or compromise your true desires in this situation. Trust that the universe is abundant and desires to support you in every possible way. So your goddess guidance card here is past life. This situation involves your past life memories. There is perhaps something that I feel when it comes to this is that a lot of you now, it's coming to me now because I haven't actually seen these cards I haven't tuned into them as yet. I'm doing it right now. What I'm seeing with this is that for some of you, there's been so many patterns that have been reoccurring that have caused pain and frustration and you haven't, um, you know, it's, it's almost like when the good things have come into your life, that suddenly something goes wrong or they're taken away. It's like you can't get to this point of feeling really happy um, and it's, it's like having that hope and making a wish is a scary thing to do or it might seem like there's just no point. To some of you it might feel like there's no point because there's just something that just keeps reoccurring in your life and you can't see a way out to the positives. So it's like a lot of you have lost this childlike wonder, you know, this, this magical um, wisdom. And so what it's saying is that there is something that is reoccurring in your life as a pattern. It's trying to teach you. When, when things actually reoccur as a pattern in our lives, it could be through relationships um, that it's trying to tell you there's a lesson to be learned in that. And so if we keep going through the same lesson time and time again, we don't see the point in making a wish. We may make many wishes. We may visualize a lot of things and it just never comes to fruition. Or we do start to see it coming into formation, but then something happens and it's taken away. And so it's almost like there's, um, you know, no point in doing this. But I feel really strongly that this is linked to a past life because this has come up here, that there's something that you need to be able to understand and let go of in the past regarding a pattern that keeps reoccurring so that you can move into this new pathway here and, you know, embrace that newfound um, wonder like that childlike wonder and innocence of the, of life and the universe and know that miracles can come in and blessings and all those things. So it's, it's like this is blocking all these new things to come in and that beautiful magical um, energy. You know, it's the law of attraction. Um, there's definitely something that's occurring here and it could be past lives or it could even be in your childhood even um, that something happened and it's sort of, um, you know, damaged your soul and it's, it's damaged your way of thinking and your self-beliefs have been distorted from that particular experience or it might have been a whole heap of experiences. As I said, the pattern can reoccur through life. So it's just about looking at the patterns and being able to recognize and understand them and clear them out and be able to embrace this once again because you do have the power within yourselves to manifest what it is that you want in your life and to make the wishes and to to hold strong with that vision okay that they're going to come in i hope that's helped you today now if you chose impatience it's all about divine timing so be assured that the realm of spirit is orchestrating everything perfectly down to the smallest detail 
Do your best to release the desire to control things or make them other than what they are. The more you release this tendency, the more everything will seem to just miraculously unfold. More and more often you will find yourself in the perfect place at the perfect time doing the perfect thing. Similarly, you will receive good news and all forms of help in exactly the times and ways that are most beneficial to you. If you take a moment to consider this mindset, you will see it is imminently logical. First of all, there is no sense in attempting to control things that are beyond your ability to control. This is simply a waste of energy and can become a chronic source of anxiety. Secondly, even when there are some factors that you can control, you are so close to your own life that you can't see the big picture as it's unfolding. It's like you're a pilot and the divine realm is the air traffic controller. Even if you can't possibly be aware of all the factors at work, relax and trust that the realm of spirit can. So like the mountain in the distance on the card image, find stillness and patience and consider the long view. And like the woman on the card, feel that you are safely shielded and protected beneath the magical umbrella of divine timing. Relax, trust, dwell in a state of inner um, quintessence, I think it says. All is well. So everything is perfectly unfolding. Relax and release the need to control. And inwardly or aloud recite the serenity prayer. Trust the details to divine orchestration and don't hurry or rush. There is no competition for your life path. No one can do exactly what you can do in exactly the way you do it. Um, enjoy all the phases of your life and release attachment to the past. Be here now. So your goddess guidance card is, well this is interesting, focused intention. So it says, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. So while this is saying just uh, relax and allow the universe to, uh, you know, um, bring in these things for you, let it unfold naturally. It's also saying that keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings and actions focused on your target. Don't allow um, negative thoughts to come in or anxiety to wreck this stillness and peace that's within you. It's this trust that's within you, that everything is coming into your life, okay? You may not necessarily see it right now, but it is unfolding and working behind the scenes. Um, so it's just about, once again, it's part of the law of attraction, keeping focused, do a vision board. You know, you might do some affirmations. It's about keeping that um, real focused energy in your mind, see it in your mind's eye, do meditations on it, just know within yourself this is coming about and don't, don't fall into that trap of falling into the fear of um, this is not going to work or giving up because it's when you are so close to getting there, it's, 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 actually, it's actually at the point of giving up that a lot of people find that miracles are just around the corner. So hold, hang in there. That's what this is about, hanging in there and just keeping your focused intention on the targeted goal, okay, on your goal, what you want to achieve. And I keep getting that word, trust is a big thing here, just knowing that the universe is working in its own divine timing, things are unfolding for you and it just takes a lot of patience at the end of the day as well. So I hope that's helped you today and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings.